Hi! Welcome back! Today I like to show you how I make a blade guard for my DIY jigsaw table. So let's make it! The blade guard for my DIY jigsaw table is primarily made from 3D printed parts, which are comprised of two main pieces. The clamp will be attached to the wooden blade guide, which is made of 15mm plywood. The width is 55mm. The clamp is designed to easily slide up and down, to adjust the clearance from the cut piece, and can be locked in place with an M6 knob and slide nut. To create a clear view of the cut line while cutting, I'm using a 3mm transparent acrylic plate for the front guard. The acrylic plate is fixed to the hinge with M2.5 screws, while the adjustable hinge is connected to the clamp with two M3 knobs. For the M6 and M3 knobs, I've used M6 knobs designed by Arold. And for the M3 is in the knob collection designed by Perinsky. If you'd like to download these designs, you can find the links in the description below. We will start by cutting the transparent acrylic to the appropriate size. I'm using the hinge as a guide to determine the width of the blade guard. and the length will be around 150 millimeters. However, this may vary depending on the specific design of your jigsaw table. To cut the acrylic plate to size, I'm using a jigsaw blade designed for cutting plastic attached to my jigsaw table. To minimize material waste, I first crosscut to the length mark. Then cut along the length of the plate to achieve the final width. Next, I'll be using a 3D print template to drill holes in the acrylic plate. I'll begin by temporarily fixing the template to the acrylic plate using double-sided tape. Then use an M2.5 drill bit to drill holes through each template's hole. To create fillets on the bottom corners of the plate, I'll use a washer to trace the desired shape. Then, I'll use a mini sander to carefully grind out the fillet on each corner.
Attach the acrylic plate to the hinge using M2.5 screws. If you are using flathead screws, you can use a countersink drill bit to create a tapered hole. Don't forget to remove the protective paper from the acrylic plate before assembly. With the acrylic plate now securely attached to the hinge, we can move on to attaching the blade guard to the jigsaw table. Begin by inserting the clamp into the blade guide. Then, insert an M6 knob and a washer into the back of the clamp and screw it to the slide nut. Attach the hinge to the clamp and secure it with an M3 knob on both sides. And that's it. Now we've successfully completed making the DIY blade guard. To use it safely, always make sure to lower it as close to the cut piece as possible. Especially when making a rip cut. However, always keep in mind that any power tool can be dangerous no matter how many safety features it may have. Always stay focused while working with power tools, as accidents can happen. See you next time. Thank you for watching.